today a look at firmware levels on consumer SSDs that are in an ESXi environment. Now, why would you care? Well, for instance, uh, whether it's Toshiba or Intel, there's lots of M.2 NVMe you know, gumstick form factor drives out there. And here's a picture of my super server with a, uh, I think it was about $60 for this add-in card that gives me uh, two M.2 slots. I had to go in the motherboard, by the way, in the BIOS and say 4x4x4x4 four by four by four by four for PCIe bifurcation. All right, go figure. It's not the factory default. Anyhow, that's how you get up to four full speed M.2 storage devices all jammed into one slot. Moving right along, I really want to get the firmware out of them. And you're not going to get that from any of the user interfaces. For instance, the host client. This is me pointing my browser straight to the host, the ESXi server, and clicking on storage and then devices tab. Uh, or the web client. That's not going to show you, it'll show you the drives, but Digging through here, you're not going to see the details of the firmware level either. And then find the HTML5 client, uh, you're not going to find it there. So how do we do it? This article from Burton.net, uh, Florian Grell over there, uh, wrote this really nice article about the new commands that are available to you. And we have this uh, that looks pretty promising. So let's get started with that first command. Define the names of the devices. Get that in our clipboard, okay. And now I'm going to uh, putty into the correct host. It helps if you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So we're into the server and we're ready to have a look around. If I right click and have it scan and look for all the devices, let's see what we get. Nice. So we have three drives we can check up on to see what firmware they are at. What's the exact command we're gonna type? There it is. So I copied everything up to the digit. Okay, so I'm gonna start with uh, the sequence they're in. Two, one, and three, I guess. So let's do that. A little weird, but all right. Uh-huh. Now, okay, I happen to have a screenshot nearby of what it's supposed to look like. And it looks like this. So after you issue the command, it's like the fifth, sixth line. Cool. So all I had to do was spin my mouse back a little bit and look after I issued the command, where's the firmware? da da K31100, okay, whatever. Let's go to the next drive. So I remember it enumerated uh, two, one, and three. So I'm gonna hit up arrow, two, and then do one. Scroll up just a little bit. And there it is, the Samsung 960 Pro. All right, cool. And then finally, one, whoops, two, one, and three. All right, so now I've left quite a mess above for my eyeballs to sift through, and there's the other Samsung 960 Evo this time. Why is this important? Well, this particular set of drives, the 960 Pro and Evo, they had some issues with the early firmware. You want to make sure you're at this level or later. Uh, it would just disappear on people. It had nothing to do with uh, Supermicro or ZND. It just had to do with uh, the firmware on the actual gum stick from Samsung, for example. So yeah, when you have ESXi in production, you already have data on these, you might wanna know about this technique of quickly finding a firmware to see if you need to remediate or download anything. Okay, now future videos, by the way, might get into terabytes written, another figure you're gonna wanna figure out, but that does require utility for now. So I'm gonna leave that for another day. So back to here, let's do this a little more elegantly. So I have a lot of stuff on my screen, right? Uh, don't get scared of uh, getting a little Linuxy here. It's okay. Um, let's go in order. One, two, and three. I'm going to do this. Grep. And what's the thing we're looking for? It's right here. So I swipe my mouse across it and let go of the mouse, and it should be in the clipboard when I right click it. And it found it. So all I got to do is change this digit. And now I have a nice clean screenshot of my firmware levels. Cool. So bringing that article up for a second, that gives me an indication whether I need to do something or not. Here it is. Uh, QC6P7 looks like I'm good there. That's on the pro and CXE7 on the Evo, I'm all set. So I don't have any firmware updating to do today. If I did, I'd have to, you know, go ahead and download it. 
from the uh, Samsung site, which can be problematic, by the way. Um, okay, so that's it for this video of a quick look at firmware levels in your ESXi environment. This is really not a home lab video. It could be for anybody that's trying to have a look at their data stores, uh, particularly NVMe data stores was the focus today. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting tinkertry.com.